In today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to install distant horizons and shaders in Minecraft. I'll also be showing you how to do this without having to install Optifine. This has got to be one of the most simple methods to do this. Just follow my lead and you'll have yours installed by the end of this video. First thing you want to do is click the first link in the description and it'll direct you to this page right here, the fabric installer. Click download for Windows. Next thing you want to do is click the second link in the description or direct you to Sodium on CurseForge. Click Files, find 1.21.1, hit download file. Should take five seconds to download. Hit keep. Next you want to hit the third link in the description or bring you to Iris. Click 1.21.1, go to files. 1.21 download area, hit download. Now what you're gonna wanna do is click the fourth link in the description, it'll direct us to Indium, hit download. Next, click the fifth link in the description, it'll direct us to the Fabric API, find 1.21.1, hit download. Next, we're gonna download our shaders, hit the sixth link in the description, it'll direct us to complementary shaders on Modern. hit the download button right there, it'll pop up in the corner. Next, what we're gonna do is go to our home page, Pop up our files, hit downloads. Now it will here's everything that we've downloaded. Select all of them and then drag and drop them to your desktop area. Now what you want to do, this fabric cloth looking thing right here, you want to click on it. Double click on it. A window will pop up, give it one second. There we go. Hit this drop down menu, hit 1.21.1, click install, wait just a second, then it will say successfully installed, click OK, and we'll move on to the next step. Next thing you want to do is create a mods folder by clicking on your Minecraft launcher, close out. Once you're done with that, hover over to your Windows icon, right click, hit run. Then type in percent app data percent. Hit OK. Then it'll pop up this folder area right here. Find your .minecraft folder and scroll down until you find your mods folder. It will say it's empty, but what you want to do is take your five mods that we downloaded and drag and drop them. thing we're going to do is we're going to right click, hit run, percent at data percent as usual, same as earlier, click our dot minecraft folder. Now what we're going to do is find our shader packs folder. It should be right here. Click on it. I already have a bunch of shaders installed, but you want to drag and drop your shaders that you just installed right onto it. And then we can move on to the next step. Once you're loaded up into a Minecraft world, click Options, hit this thing in the corner, make sure Load Chunk Render Distant Radius is set to 500, make sure Quality Preset is set to Low, and CPU Load is set to Balanced. And now we can begin rendering our chunks in. Now this may take a while depending the strength on your computer, this took right around 30 minutes for me. Okay, everything's now rendered in for me, and this looks absolutely insane. With the shaders and the thousands of chunks and everything rendered in, it just looks lovely. But if you guys thought that this video was helpful, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. We are super close to 200 subscribers, it really helps me out a lot. And thank you so much for watching this video, and have a good day.